<laughs> Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This one, this video, is a little different. Uh, you probably read the title, saw the thumbnail, and, I mean, you would have had to, unless you, I don't know, click things wildly randomly, or you have some kind of randomized video selecting generator. That'd be weird. Weird voodoo. Um, but yes, this is going to be the last video in this booth. I uh, am moving, so I'm having to very quick, very soon, pack everything up. By the time you'll be seeing this, I will actually probably have already been moved in. So we're moving in on the 30th, and this video won't come up until the very beginning of the following month. So, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little scared. Reason being is that I put a lot of time and energy into this studio. I put a lot of attention and love, and I have gone out of my way to make sure that this studio was to the best quality it could possibly be. Now, it's not perfect. It's not perfect at all, which is kind of why I'm pulling the trigger on moving. That plus a couple other features and factors. But yeah, I'm going to be moving into a house that unfortunately, despite our best efforts to find the best location, either the, the best places that had the perfect walk-in closet were really, really expensive or were too far away or what have you. Because my roommate still has a day job that he still needs to get to. So we're trying to find something that's not, that's within reasonable, that's within a reasonable distance of his work. That still had what I needed. And we wanted an extra bedroom or an extra room. Now, the place that we got, I'm not going to tell anybody where it is, but has a an office that's going to be turned into a studio. Now, there's another person that's going to be moving in with, with us that is also in the arts, is acting, voice acting. I've known this person for, for uh, a while, and I'm more relaxed knowing that they are going to be there as well, that it's not just going to be me having to rebuild a voiceover space from scratch, because that may take a little while, even though I already have many, many plans in my head. But, uh, yeah, it's, you know, because normally living with, with my current roommate, Steven, it's kind of solo. Everything's been solo. I do all this by myself. It's very lonely. It's very isolating. It's very depressing sometimes. But having an additional person that is encouraging, that has the same interests that I have, to help me rebuild as quick as possible a good studio um, is definitely calming me down. Now, this space is technically competitive, industry competitive. And what I mean by that is I can record most things in here and compete with most studios in major cities, LA and New York. However, it is not perfect. And because the... Now, if this was like 20 years ago, my studio quality would probably be on par with some studios, some major studios 20 years ago. But as the the independent voiceover market has increased its quality across the board. Everything in order for you to make a really good studio has gotten cheaper. Everything you need to, you know, really make a difference and, and get noticed has, you know, uh, the game has changed. So all of the major studios have up theirs as well and also up their expectations of people's home studios, partly so that they can weed out the uh, the submissions. It's due to the fact that there's a lot of people who have home studios that are really, really good. If they raise their bar, there are fewer, fewer people that actually make the cut that they actually have to go through. 
and my studio is not perfect. In fact, the biggest problem to this day is outside that wall. There's still a high noise floor. There's still high noise. So if I'm doing any whispering, there's going to be a lot of rumble from the AC units. There's going to be a lot of traffic noise because it's just a solid wall. There's no proper insulation. There's no gap. There's no distance. There's, there's no break. It's just the wall. And I've put base traps. I've put multiple layers of blankets. And there's the acoustic foam. There's all this kind of stuff. And it is brick out there. But it still bleeds in. And I have potential opportunities to work with studios that would want my audio to be clean and completely raw. As in, nothing in the mixer, no cleanup, no editing, nothing. Completely as is, probably done through Source Connect. And that's really the only thing that's holding my studio back. And also the location that I'm at and the, the not knowing whether or not my upstairs neighbors are going to lose their shit and just have a 10, 20 person party, or there's going to be a whole bunch of traffic outside or all the AC units are going to be running. And so there's going to be a constant low noise. I'm also not able to rent out my studio and do in-house recording for other talent, which is something that I've been trying to do a little bit more of, but I haven't been able to go public with it because it's... I can't. It's inconsistent. I don't know the hours of the day that I'm going to have the best, cleanest audio. Now, in this potential office, uh, it's we're far away from traffic. We're far away from our neighbors, good, good distance away from the neighbors. So treat it basically like this and in my other room, and then basically building a wood box to seal myself in is what we're looking at. Now, I'll probably be building a PVC tent first. That's just the easiest thing to do until I can get together the wood, the insulation, the, the, the carpeting, if I need to put any other kind of insulation, any other kind of foam, or any other kind of... I, I need to be able to do that. Also, I'm not sure... Technically, I would probably be able to move the entire thing in and out because the room has double doors, pretty wide. But it's probably going to be something that I'm going to have to put together and take apart. And then I need to put in a kind of vent because that's something I don't have in here. And I would love to be able to record nonstop without losing my friggin' mind sweating in Texas. I would love to be able to do stuff like that. So this is a huge jump forward. This is a huge, it's a huge leap in my career. And the, and the, the, the third roommate, the other person in question, um, this is also part of their career as well. And so there's a mutual, um, benefit. This is, this is both of our futures that we're trying to help each other build. So, um, and it's someone that I trust a lot, uh, a lot more than a lot of other people. Someone that, that I value uh, a lot more than, than some of my family members. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that is what's been going through my mind. This will probably be the last video in here. I'm going to be vlogging. I'm going to be vlogging. I have a little handheld steady cam kind of thing I'll probably be using a lot when we're moving in. Um, kind of kind of take you guys on, on the ride, on the journey. But that's probably going to be it for a while. Um, I may take a break doing like actual edited videos until I get an actual studio up and running. Until I actually get like a booth up and running, which if it's, if it's the PVC tent, I can probably do that, you know, in a couple of days. I've, I've done tons of those. Uh, I'm not too worried about building something. The concern that I have is building something that's better, which is what I need. It's what I really think is, is holding me back. Um, you know, it's not my demos, it's not my resume, it's not my skills. A lot of clients that I am kind of missing opportunities with, it's because my studio isn't perfect. And they've been raising the bar. And I gotta raise the bar too. 
It's nerve wracking. It's scary, but sometimes you got to do it. Sometimes you got to do it. So that's it. So yeah, that's going to be, it's going to be it for this video. Um, hopefully I can keep you guys posted, keep you guys informed. And uh, there's also going to be some more interesting content probably coming. Um, some more, because I'll have an entire studio space kind of that I'll be able to use and have permanent setups so I can have faster turnaround. The anime rant videos, hopefully I can get a good editor for that kind of stuff. Um, do some more kind of like live streams. And um, yeah, that's it. I'm nervous, but should be good. So yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Totally fine. Subscribe if you're new. Bell for notifications and leave down in the comment section below. Like to see me cover any other videos. And let me know if you're excited for the future, like I'm excited, or if you're scared, or you're worried, what have you. Leave that down in the comment section. And if you want to ask me any questions personally, there's my coaching email. And hopefully I'll be seeing you guys before the end of the following month. Hopefully. I should be. Shouldn't be any reason I shouldn't be. Yeah, it's going to be it. Until next time. Peace.